Ladies and gentlemen, the early reports are coming in for Belisarius Prime here in Rise of Kingdoms. And what can I say? I feel like the community kind of predicted his use case right away. Like I, like as soon as we learned his skills, I feel like everybody kind of figured out like, oh, this is going to be a commander that is good for swarming things down. And I mean, based on the test results that I'm seeing, it seems like that is going to be possibly his one and only use. We're going to talk about that in this video, but first what's going on guys cheers now before we begin this video would not be possible if it weren't for the folks over in kingdom 3069 who invited me to watch their testing of belisarius prime the moment that he went live they did some testing in an arc of osiris practice match so a huge thank you to kingdom 3069 i appreciate you guys thank you for the invite and thank you for sending me all of the battle reports and thank you solar for letting me know that you were going to max belisarius prime on day one you have made a tremendous sacrifice to help the rest of the community learn if he is worth investing in or not so thank you and of course if you guys appreciate the belisarius prime content on day one make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel it'll push this in the algorithm and consider subscribing we're so close we're literally so close to 70k it's actually insane and i'm gonna post a day in the life vlog on my second channel when we hit there so go ahead and do that but let's talk about these reports here okay first of all the first thing that i want to point out here is a sort of this is a little bit i'm gonna be a little bit self-indulgent here because this is a little bit of it i told you so moment okay belisarius prime's expertise there was a lot of people confused as to what his expertise was actually going to do when they first saw this be revealed okay and i right away was like this is going to be a debuff on the target guaranteed 100 percent and I feel like I got some pushback on that and I was confused as to like why that would be the case but it does seem to be the case based on all the reports that I've gotten that the exact moment that a target becomes surrounded the debuff on Belisarius's expertise kicks in so for example you can test this yourself if you have Belisarius expertise already you could do just a rally on a barbarian fort and you'll see from a Justinian primary here we see turn nine you can see the activation of Justinian's active skill because this was a fort rally you'll notice that it causes during a rally attack the target to be surrounded with three additional troops which means on the following turn when this takes effect you'll notice at the very bottom the skill Roman devotion was triggered this turn and that is of course the expertise on Belisarius so the moment that this barb fort was considered surrounded from Justinian Belisarius's expertise kicked in as a debuff on the target and we also see this as evidenced in pvp scenarios here i have a report of a garrison being swarmed and you'll see that if you look here um, it's important to note the order with which these troops are hitting the garrison okay so we have a gorgo heraclius and you'll see the very first army to hit it was ashurbanipal henry then we have Boudicca Nebu and we could scroll down here and the first time that we see Belisarius hit the garrison we could take a look at the battle log and we will see on turn one that Belisarius's Roman devotion was triggered now why is this well that's because all of these other armies that hit before them are surrounding the target so the moment and this is solar's second army here the moment that this army touched the garrison it was already applying the 12 percent all damage taken increase to the garrison because remember we're looking at this report from the garrison's perspective okay so in the battle log the moment that belisarius touches this garrison the garrison is actually taking 12 percent more all damage as a debuff even on turn two you can see that it says our side gained 12 percent increased all damage taken due to the bleeding effect so this is a debuff a bleeding debuff caused by Belisarius's Roman devotion now you can see here it says damage taken plus 21 percent remember this is the garrison uh so there must be other things in play here I I mean we're talking about this dude is being sw swarmed by however many armies so there must be other things that are causing the Gorgo Heraclius to take even more all damage than just what is being applied from the expertise on Belisarius Prime but with that being said what we know is that Belisarius Prime's expertise is functioning in what is basically the best case scenario right and it seems to be the case that you know if you look at the battle log it will say that this effect will end on the at, on the next turn and then on the next turn it applies again so effectively what this is doing is essentially the game is checking every turn is the target surrounded yes how many troops and then it'll uh, do the appropriate calculation that seems to be what is happening in the battle report which is again this is the best case scenario it seems 
for Belisarius Prime. Now, there's going to be more test results that come out over the following days, weeks, and months with Belisarius Prime. And if anything in this video is wrong, of course, I'm sure you'll correct me in the comment section below. But from what I can see on day one, that seems to be how this expertise is working, which is a good thing. Now, why is that a good thing? Well, because it means that having a Belisarius Prime hitting a target, be it a flag, a fort, or anything that is swarmable, then it's going to make that target get swarmed quite well I mean we could see some of the battle reports that we have here this was a nearly full Gorgo Heraclius garrison 1.5 million units and you can see here from the trade that like sure the swarmers lost by a little bit but like it's it that's pretty impressive for a Gorgo Heraclius okay Gorgo Heraclius is typically like I mean it's one of the meta garrisons right now of course now this is a full infantry garrison so any benefits that Heraclius gets from it being mixed is not going to be applied here but even still I mean you know to go almost one-to-one -one trade with the Gorgo Heraclius is pretty good and I think part of the reason for that was because the Belisarius Prime was here and it was causing the target to take 12% more all damage. So what does this mean? Well, okay. Let me actually back up here for a second. There were a lot of other tests that were done by 3069 and they weren't great. The results were not great. Okay. What we find here is that Justinian primary Belisarius secondary just gets clapped from a Gorgo garrison. I mean, it's, it's calves against infantry. Like this is the infantry garrison meta. So it's to be expected pretty much. And also when you think about a Justinian rally, they usually just get swarmed down like there's really no downside to swarming a justinian right so like i don't even in the best case scenario i don't see a justinian belisarius even lasting that long now i will talk in a minute about some rally combos for belisarius prime but um just you know i want it to be known here that like they did a couple of tests and it just doesn't look like that's gonna be this is a Zenobia Gorgo so they changed the garrison a little bit um, I think it did a little bit better but like for comparison this is a Justinian Nevsky so it was 145 to 219 and if we compare that to the Justinian Belisarius the Justinian Belisarius took more sev wounds and the garrison took fewer sev wounds so the Justinian Nevsky was just a better combination than the Justinian Belisarius in the 1v1 rally versus garrison scenario and in case you were wondering this is how the Justinian Nevsky did against the Zenobia Gorgo now just as another data point here we can see from this swarm report you can see that Solar's Nevsky Joan hit before the Huo Belisarius here and even on the Nevsky Joan portion of the report if we come down to whatever turn we see here Roman devotion is still applied to the garrison remember we're looking at this report from the garrison's perspective and so everything that Nevsky and Joan are doing here to this garrison is occurring under the 12 percent increase all damage taken due to the nearby Belisarius hitting the garrison so it's honestly kind of hard and I might be just super tired it's kind of hard to go through these battle reports and see exactly when this buff starts hitting because like in it's hard to tell unless Belisarius is the first thing to be hitting and what we found and this is again early results but it makes sense logically right but like you would want the Belisarius to be the first thing hitting that way everyone else after them immediately starts getting the benefit of the expertise as soon as it's possible to get it right and so all in all what they saw from the testing was that in the 1v1 reports the Belisarius in the rallies typically gets clapped right and even still like there's no anti-swarm on him anyway so like I don't think he's going to be great there but in in a swarming scenario Belisarius does seem to move the needle a little bit which seems really nice because of the super powerful debuff here but then we come into okay well where does he fit from a field fighters perspective and they didn't do any of this testing in the arc battle but I do know that Chiskel Gaming was actually streaming basically right when Belisarius went live and I think he instantly maxed him on his one of his second accounts and uh huge shout out to Chiskel for doing that but basically they were doing 5v5 you know sort of testing and you know attacking it in the in a certain order and you know what we saw and you know I'm sure he's gonna make a video about it covering this a bit more in depth so make sure you check out his channel to to you know see what exactly he found from those results but based on the few minutes that I was kind of like you know watching his stream it seemed to be the case that like swapping the the William for the Belisarius maybe made a slight difference that made it you know you might perform a little bit better in a 5v5 duel but I mean let's be real here I don't think it's worth the sculptures I'm just gonna come out and say it okay here's what I think Belisarius is good for if you are a cavalry main 
and you're running three or more why would you run more but if you're running three cavalry armies then you're going to want Belisarius, especially if you're going to be swarming down flags, forts and things of that nature. You're going to want Belisarius in the lineup. OK, I think you would do probably Nevsky Joan, Huo with William, and then you just slap Belisarius behind a Zhang Yu and your Gucci. I think that's probably the way that you're going to run this. That's pretty much what we predicted as soon as we saw his skills from the simulation testing that I ran. That seemed to be like what we suspected people would do anyway. So there's that. But if you're running two Cav armies or fewer, then I just don't see Belisarius being like someone that's going to move the needle for you. Because even in the case where this expertise is super valuable, the trade-off is that you'd be losing in theory, William's active skill and all the benefits that he's bringing you. And honestly, William, if he's hitting at least two targets, he's dealing more damage than the active skill on Belisarius anyway. Now you have a nice debuff here and all that stuff, but from a lot of the testing that we've seen, like this debuff seems to move the needle only in long exchanges. And so you kind of run into that like Sargon effect where it's like, it's really good on paper, but like battles just don't really last long enough to get the maximum benefit out of it. Right. Obviously we're talking about a debuff instead of damage over time, but like you kind of get what I'm saying here where it's like, you're just, I mean, in what scenario would you be in a battle that runs long enough to get significant value out of this debuff? I'm not really sure right so then the question becomes okay well we know that he's good for making things swarmable and we know that if you're a cav main running three cav armies he would fit in your lineup and he's going to be pretty good there what other uses could he have well one idea that i was floating in the voice chat with 3069 was possibly an attila primary with belisarius secondary if what you want to do is swarm down a target right so let's say a enemy is building a flag or they are building a fort um then what you would want to do is you launch the attila belisarius rally and the reason that you pick attila is because he's typically the most punishing to swarm down how that would actually work with a belisarius primary i'm not really sure because again there's really no anti-swarm built into his kit if we're being honest like yeah so we would have to actually see but in theory what you could do is launch the attila belisarius that would be you would let that be the first thing that connects so that way the debuff on belisarius's expertise applies as soon as possible and then once the rally connects you swarm down the flag or fort with all the whales that are there now this is no new strategy the, this is how people swarm things down always but the benefit of having the Attila Belisarius is that it is a rally there that is just causing everyone else to deal 12 percent more damage to the garrison I think that's actually a really good strategy will it actually work will Attila Belisarius be you know sort of anti-swarmable enough to make this a thing who knows even if it is anti-swarmable perhaps it would still be worth it to swarm down the Attila Belisarius because the implication of having Belisarius connect could mean that your flag burns so you might just take the negative trade against the Attila Belisarius anyway that way you don't run the risk of your flag or fort being burned while it's building that's definitely something that you could do and even if it's not a building flag or fort even if it's already built this could be a strategy that you could use another strategy that you could do and this could be with Attila Belisarius or it could be with like a Justinian Belisarius, something like that, is that you would run it as a counter rally to something that's hitting a pass, right? If you're defending a pass and they are rallying you, you can counter rally with a Belisarius in the lineup, whether it's a Justinian primary or Attila primary or whatever it is, you can run it with the Belisarius and then push out of the pass when it's connecting and swarm down the rally that's hitting your pass that's something that you could do I'm just throwing out examples there but it seems to be the case that what Belisarius's role is going to be is to just make something more swarmable and that occurs the moment he's touching and there are swarming marches touching at the same time and so the idea would be to have Belisarius last as long as possible so that way this debuff is up as long as possible and so I'm sure that's what people are going to be trying to do they're going to be trying to play with some different you know different combinations here of course Attila did just get a museum relic so that could make this a little bit better I mean it is a little bit of a tanky relic here five percent defense three percent skill damage taken reduction okay now of course the skill damage on Belisari is going to be a little bit weaker behind an Attila because he debuffs his own skill damage for his army 
but at the end of the day you're not there for Belisarius the skill damage you're there for the expertise on Belisarius furthermore it's worth noting that Belisarius has 20 percent March speed and when you exit combat you get even more but 20 percent March speed does a lot and if you look at Attila Attila also gets 15 percent March speed Justinian gets 15 percent March speed outside of territory and so putting a Belisarius in these rallies I mean as if cavalry weren't fast enough this is going to be one of the fastest two hit rallies possible and so that's a good thing right because you want the Belisarius to hit as soon as possible and so the the sooner Belisarius hits the sooner that the target becomes swarmable and that's pretty much that so really all the discussion around Belisarius right now is kind of around how you can use him to make things swarmable and that basically means that Belisarius is a toy for the whales if you are a big swarmer if you're one of the big players in your kingdom you're probably going to want Belisarius and that means you're probably going to run seven armies or even six if you you know if you're running six armies and three of them are calves you're going to want Belisarius but if you'll notice that most of the discussion that we've had in this video is about his expertise which means if you thought you were going to do like a five five one one or a five 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 one or whatever you thought the district no no his value is pretty much in the expertise at least that's what it seems to be from this day one you know first you know three hours of testing like that seems to be what people are going to care the most about so this is not a budget build commander this is mainly his exclusive use is going to be for the wells and that's pretty much it okay I think that you know is Belisarius useless no I think he has one crucial use but if you're a free-to-play player a mid spender low spender whatever you probably aren't going to run Belisarius you're you're just not if you're running three cav armies you're going to run them if you're not you don't need them that's my that's my uh that's what I thought from day one and my opinion has not changed I think the community and the early test results that we got from the rock battle simulator I think it pretty much predicted Belisarius's use case flawlessly like right away we kind of figured out exactly what he'd be good for and it seems to be the case like that was the writing on the wall like that seems to be what he's going to be known for is just going to be good for swarming things down it's also worth noting that because of this he also might be good at zeroing player cities if you want to burn them real quick before they get online right so he might be used in city rallies which again typically like historically we see Attila as the primary there so Attila Belisarius could be a nice city clapper okay I saw a couple of early reports from Cali Cowboy he sent me these over so thank you for sending these to me but it looks like this player got uh got hit with a Nevsky Belisarius rally and it was quite devastating now of course the unit disparity is huge here there's way more troops in the rally so like of course it's going to perform much better that's why you see the trade is so good in favor of the rally it's because they have a million more troops so it's like obviously that's going to be the case of course you know well yeah they took deads and the city didn't so that's something else to consider but yeah I don't know um I'm, I'm pretty sure like everyone was pretty much right from day one I think a lot of cav mains were having a little bit of copium I think a lot of cav mains were hoping that he was going to be better than he was supposed to be but like like, I feel like I mean we the community was pretty much right on the money with Belisarius I think he's a great third cav lineup I think that he's going to be great for swarming things down he's going to be a great toy for the whales to play with he's going to be crucial and basically a ne necessary investment for whales if you're going to swarm things down in Kingsland but for the rest of us for the other 90 percent of players 95 percent of players he doesn't belong in your five mart art army lineup now is that to say he's bad let me just be very clear here because people hear me say that and they're like oh Belisarius is trash he's not actually trash okay he's not actually trash if we're being honest he's not trash he's just not a significant improvement over William so if you invest in him over William it's like it's it's probably going to be pretty close I think William will probably output more damage but Belisarius is more supportive so it's a trade-off it's not he's not trash but if you already have William do you need Belisarius no if you already have Nevsky Joan Huo do you need Belisarius no that's my two cents here of course if you disagree if you think Belisarius is great and he's if you think he's got more utility than William go for it I think he's he's fine right he's fine he's not trash he's just you know he's got one specific use case and I think that he's going to do that one thing really well. And for the rest of us, 
we can save our sculptures until the next you know commander release which should be infantry and hopefully we get some absolute clappers for infantry gang baby with that being said guys i want to thank uh kingdom 30 69 one more time for sending me those battle reports and having me in their voice chat while they were doing this i really do appreciate that of course if you've been to the end of this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and comment down below your thoughts on belisarius prime is this exactly what you thought does this surprise you is he doing worse than you thought is he doing better than you thought let me know in the comment section below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this is dominic i will talk to you guys again soon peace